Hello and welcome back to another Factorio tutorial. My name is Negative Root and let's get cracking today. We're talking about the central bus design concept and how to introduce oil into it and make it all work nice. Now, the question was, how do you do it? Because the uh, the person in question, and also me too as well, uh, you often end up with this giant line running across the factory um, of you know plastic or batteries coming from the oil or you know somehow it ends up being ugly. So this is what I would recommend. Now say you have a patch of oil, uh, wonderful, you know, it's all going well, you've got it into some storage tanks. What I would advise you to do is actually box it up or barrel it up and then send it to your factory. So you're going to have a line somewhere, but doing it this way you can then put your oil build right next to your factory proper. Now I've just had these mob um, spawn in, so I need to go take care of them because they're going to cause me issues and then we're going to talk a little bit more about it so let's go have some fun shall we oh uh, yeah sure apparently I have rocket launcher on oh yikes okay so that's that problem sorted. Now we can go back to what we're doing. Now I've just thrown together this really quick little oil build. It's ugly, I know. Uh, it's just to illustrate a, a point. Now introducing this into the central design is uh, pretty easy. I've basically put it down wherever I want. I've got my water in. That's coming from a lake way down south here. Actually that little lake there is where it's coming from. But we're throwing that into the system and now I've done my oil build nice and close. This way I can uh, move things around and I'm not going to have to move them very far. Now this here needs to be hooked up so that, whoa, what? I missed there. Oh, that's alright. That's going to make plastic for us. Now this one here is going to make sulfur and this one here is going to make sulfuric acid. Now I'm just using um, request a chest here just to illustrate this is you know you put in your coal somewhere here and you would get plastics out. Now we'll come back and do batteries later because that's a little bit complicated uh, but basically we need to do a red circuit build. Now I'm thinking I'm going to do it in this space right here because that's nice and easy and what we can do is we've got our green circuits up here right so here's what I'm thinking just split that, come to say here-ish, and those bots will, oh there you go, <laughs> I was going to say, they'll start blowing up soon and go away, just as they did. Okay, now we'll base, base the design off uh, Hmm, how to do it? How to do it? Now it's important to remember that you need to get it out somehow. So what we'll do here, now this is pretty ugly. Um, I've just slapped that down. So I might actually delete this so I can clean it up a bit. And I'll just use construction robots because that's nice and quick and easy and painless. And you guys get the idea. Okay, that can go away as well. Now, what we need to do is a couple of things. Okay, so there's part of it. Yeah, then. What I'm going to do right here. Just ensure the line is balanced. Because that's going to be really important moving forward. Now I've got that and I've got that. I'll run that to there. And I thought that was going to be quick and painless. Alright. Looks like I'll do it by hand. You know, whatever. Whatever. 
Okay, so that's that done. Now what I need to do is here I need to do a little uh, build that's going to allow us to um, snag well, actually, that could probably be there. Yep, that works. So this is going to be our copper coil. Now, red circus is the only time I would actually advise you put it on a belt. Simply because one of these can feed actually a great deal um, of red circuit assemblers. So in this build, yeah, it works. In others, not so much. Okay. All right, this needs to go back. Now obviously, I'm working inside of existing constraints. I'm thinking that'll work. Up cable. Get out like that. There you go, happy days. Okie dokie. Now, what I'm going to do is just throw down longhand inserters to get the plastic. Now, actually, what I have up here. I noticed that I was overproducing these pretty badly. So I'll grab some of them. Oi. Oi. Why are you doing that? Stop that. Stop making inserters, damn it. God. There's too many of them. Now, what I'm going to do here is just throw down one of each. Uh, that might be quick enough to keep up. We'll see. Okay, there, 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 and there. And we'll do the same with these bad boys going the other way. Because that's going to be onto our output belt just here. Okay. Excellent. Now you notice that I've got steel right here, so I can link these two up. And what I'm going to do is going to place my uh, blue science build somewhere in here. There's a placeholder. So that's how I'm going to do that. Now you can see how you know I've linked it. I haven't had to go too far because I've been you know thinking about it, going okay, well where do I want to place it? How's it all going to work? And is it all going to work? More importantly, okay. Wonderful. Yep, that's all working flat out. You notice that I'm probably not going to have the throughput on this line to get it further in because these are all stopping because they've actually got them. Uh, hmm, that's an interesting problem. That's all right. So that's pretty much red circuits done. Well, it is red circuits done. Uh, just need to put in a rebalancer, make sure the lines uh, chockers. Right, and that handles that for us. Now, the next thing we need to do is batteries. Batteries are pretty easy. You know, they're, they're pretty straightforward, really. There's not much to them. Uh, but we do need iron and copper down here because the sulfuric acid requires iron. See here. And batteries require both iron and iron plate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run them down here, I'm thinking. And then do stuff here. Now then, uh, what I'll do is I'll just do a quick little battery build. Well, hey, I don't need it to be fancy. I'll just do that. Sounds good to me. Now, what I want to do is I want to come in
split come to here so this will be an iron line here and then I'm gonna have another line with copper being that there and I'm thinking that will work okay easy now you can see how I'm kinda of sketching things out so I know where they need to go actually we'll do it like that because of aesthetics okay so this is copper it's going to be a bit of a nightmare, but we can get it to work. Ah, uh, what do we want to do? Okay. I want to put uh, this bad boy underground. That's what I want to do. Now, the reason for that is that will give me a little bit extra space here to play with. So this is iron. And it's not going to quite reach far enough. So we'll go down and then up again. We'll do the same thing there. Now we know we need to get our copper down in here. We can do this. Reroute that and send it down. Okay, wonderful. Now, if we want to get really fancy, we can add in something like this, and that'll balance the belts before and after the uh, the split. Now we need to do the same with iron, so we might as well just go with a little split there. Okay, bounce it over. And down. Alright, job done. Okay, that's it. It, that is everything that is done. Now we just need to get everything out. What I'll do is I'll just bring it out on this side because... Uh, that way it's powered. <laughs> I don't have to add in another power pole, especially just for the uh, remainder of the build. Now, so this is batteries pretty much done. What's the last thing we need? Oh, smart inserters. They're up here. So here's something I prepared earlier. And I can just run these down through here. Okay, pretty easy. Uh, what I might actually do. Oh, that's through the guts of that. Okay, that's alright. So, what we're going to do is we will combine this line and this line. Okay, there's one combined. Now, the second one will bring it down. I want to bring it down and then, I don't know, loop it around or something. Uh, hmm. Okay. Let's just do it. Let's get on with it. Rightio. Now, what we need to do here is, yeah, set it up. Because I know where I want to put it in. Well, where I want to put the blue science into the, the labs. So I can do that there. Now, what do I want to do with this? I want to do... Actually, here's an idea. 
We'll just snag this for a moment. And I'll throw that down there again. Now, we'll go this way with it. Brilliant. That gets us to where we need to go. So now what I can do is bring this bad boy up. That's probably too many to have on hand at any one given time. Okay, there we go. Wonderful. Oh, whoop. Okie dokie. And there we go, that is blue science done and dusted. Now I'm going to assume that you guys know how to actually put it in the assembler and, and set all of that up. But in, uh, in this way, that's how I would get uh, oil introduced into the uh, central bus uh, design setup, basically. It's, it's pretty straightforward, nothing much to it. Uh, it just requires a bit of planning, a bit of thought. You notice that this factory is quite compact. There's not really much uh, much to it because it is quite focused. It's only making red, green, and now blue science. The uh, the tricks, yeah, just think about it, plan it out, try and keep it in straight lines. You notice that this is a mess, but I'm just doing that quickly. You notice everything else is straight lines. Everything's you know spaced out and and planned out so that we can. Oh, this was spotted in the last episode. I'm a dodo. Uh, yeah, everything's spaced out and placed out so that you can you know, get things around the factory pretty easily. You notice that I just brought um, green inserters from all the way up here, all the way down here. That's probably the only downside of this factory at the moment is, is the distance uh, that the green inserters have to f travel. Uh, and that's something that I would look at you know, improving. And the way you would improve it is actually to move this build down in here somewhere. You know, probably replace it with the steel, run a little trunk line down further you know you, you can do a lot of different things with this idea uh, but the idea is keep it balanced you know keep it simple try and you know really make things easy on yourself uh, how's this thing doing wonderful it's eating it and see that everything's backing up nicely we've got uh, good uh, good amounts of everything and uh, yeah, pretty much a successful build. But uh, take that, play with it, see how you go. Um, I reckon it looks quite pretty with all the uh, the resources, and and you notice that I don't have any throughput issues. You know, all of my um, lines. Oh, this is a little bit skinny. Yeah, all, all of my lines are pretty much uh, packed, which is what you're after. You don't want uh, throughput issues using the central bus. Because the entire point is to try and avoid that. Now this, this is probably a problem for later. I'll uh, I'll come back and fix this. But thank you very much for watching this tutorial. It's been a lot of fun, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. If there's something you would like me to cover, uh, an idea or something you're not sure about, let me know. I'm uh, I'm keen to play uh, play factories, and and I'd love to see. Uh, your idea or something that you've thought of and uh, how I could uh, you know, improve upon it. This one turned into a tutorial because it was probably a good idea. Um, but yeah, happy to uh, give things a crack.